Welcome to the shop. This is professional sharpening. This is the machine that I will be doing the sharpening on. And actually, I've already done the sharpening. Um, and Well, sharpening is the wrong term. Te technically, grinding. I've already done the grinding. But I'm going to take you through the whole process of finding this blade, the, the angle of this blade, right here, using trigonometry and using the inverse of cosine. So, just a, just a quick tour. Here's the shop, there's the entrance, here's our wood stove, here's, there's the counter, the phone over there right in the middle, right above my finger. There's the radio right on top of the microwave, and there's the shop. It's a 40 by 30 building. So the first thing we need to do is we need to measure. We need to get in through here. Here's one milling machine and the other milling machine. Anyway, let's go up here. I should have checked this before I started the video. Okay, so we do have a ruler. That's good. And nothing has to be like super exact, but we do need to get as close as possible uh, so that so that we don't, you know, uh, mess it up. All right, hopefully I'm in the shot. So, here's my hands, all dirty, touching my white phone. Crap, that is now black, whatever. All right, so back to this. So we have our ruler. Now, let's get in some light. Let's go over here. So measurement is something as a totally different area of mathematics. I mean, I don't know if you can see this very clearly or not, but this side is, it has inches and it's in tenths. And this side is inches and it's measured in, uh, it's got 60 fourths. But anyway, I'm going to use the, the side that has the tenths. So what we're going to do is we're going to measure the, the blade here, the, um, this part of the blade at least, and see how much we got going on here. So you want to make sure that the edges line up pretty good. I think I'm in the shot. Yes. Lines up pretty good. And now we look... And it goes to six inches. So, come on, focus. So we're about, looks like a third of the way between the nine and the eight, right before the five. So that's going to be one inch plus a tenth plus a third of a tenth. So, uh, so about 13, no, 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 no. So about, crap, let's think about this. If we break it up into thirtieths, and we have one, so we're going to have three, three, so four thirtieths, so two fifteenths. Uh, wait, it's four thirtieths. Multiply that by three and a third. You get twelve uh, point uh, three repeating, no, 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 12.13 written, oh, crap, no, so, this is why you use a calculator, no, no, 13.3 thir repeating, there we go, 13.3 repeating, actually, uh, let's, let's check that on the calculator before we do that, so now we want to measure the height, you know, how, how tall is this blade, so let's get up there, make sure the bottoms match up. Can't really see that all that well. This is about halfway in between the four and the five. So we're, we're 0.45 uh, inches. So let's get a little piece of scrap paper. Uh, 
So what, what did we say? We said um, 1 point one three repeating and that was that was that would be our hypotenuse and uh we said point four five these are in inches don't don't forget your your units so we said that this length was point four five inches and that this oops can't even see it okay and that the hypotenuse was 1.13 repeating inches. So, just to get oh, just to get a visual of what we're looking at. So here's here's the blade, and I actually wrote it backwards from what it is. So, and of course I forget. Damn it! Oh wait, check it out, ruler. Okay, so if we move the ruler over, so we're going up to that point at the top there, at the heel of the blade, and we're going to drop a perpendicular down to the bottom and create a right angle there. And so if we use this side and the bottom side and the side of the ruler that goes through the blade down to the very bottom of the blade as our three sides, then we have a right triangle. And so we can use trig. Oh, I just realized that the microphone was covered up. I hope I hope they got it. So we can use trig to figure out what that angle is supposed to be. When we find that angle, I come over here and it have we actually have a jig or jig. Whoa, what the are you kidding me? Oh crap. Well, oh, well that would explain. Never mind. Um so it's loose, it's not supposed to be loose, it's supposed to be, you know, uh, nut and bolt tightened up in there, but whatever. So this part, you you loosen this and this, this handle moves. I can't really do it one-handed. But I would set the angle measure of whatever the blade is, is set at. And it moves this part so that the blade can go up or down and this part there is a rock actually it's a segmented wheel meaning God, I thought I had a customer driving up it's freaking 930 at night okay so there's a uh... no okay real quick here comes the train there's a segmented rock under there that spins and stays stationary so we move the blade and then we grind the uh... we grind the blade uh, we, we we move the blade. We don't move the uh, the the rock, the grinding the grinding rock. After that, I'm going to come over here to this machine, which is just a one inch uh, belt grinder. And what it's going to do is when when and this doesn't really have anything to do with math so much as you know sharpening. It's going to, uh, when, we're, when I take it off of the big machine up there, it's going to have a burr. Uh, I'll show you what a burr looks like. Uh, hang on a second. Let's see if I can, okay. Show you what a burr looks like. And I'm gonna do this without my mask, which is a bad idea. Um, so this extremely unsanitary blade that Dad left laying around. Uh, let's make sure. Okay. All right. Mmm, smells lovely. All right. So you see, see the little shiny part right there? That's called a burr, meaning that it's just metal that. The, the 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 blade has been ground but the metal wasn't removed so much as it was moved to the tip to the very tip of the blade and so I come over to this machine this is a coarser uh, grit this is smoother and this is going to remove um, a lot of the grit but not all of it so I'm going to come over here to this wheel which is a 
Let's see, let's get a good shot of it. Which is, uh, it's it's actually coarser, but the material is coarser than the belt, but it's the material is softer, and so it's it it takes off more of the burr, and then the final piece, final wheel is this cloth wheel, this cotton wheel, and we buff it, meaning we just rub this uh, little block thing. It's a it's a compound. It's a stainless steel uh, shining shining compound that we buff it on here, and it's going to remove the rest of the uh, the rest of the the burr. And so I take a, a little piece of paper. It's just a, one of our tickets that was sacrificed for this. And when we're done sharpening it, like I said, I've already actually sharpened. Whew. Ah, almost cussed. Okay. Okay. <laughs> All right. Now that I peed on myself. So I've, I've stood the blade upright. Okay. I stood the blade upright. So when you're done sharpening, it will slice. Yeah, it will slice through the piece of paper. And no, that was not a magic trick. And so let's lay this down carefully, carefully, carefully. Sorry, sorry, I know the video is not great right now. Okay. But I didn't feel like cutting my finger off, so. And that, after I did all that work to find the, uh, the angle right here, I was able to sharpen the blade, make the customer happy, made me some money, got my hands dirty, made me feel like a man. Yeah! Anyway, um, and so I used math in a real world scenario. And we're actually going to use that. I'm going to give you the problem that I was given. And we'll go ahead and do this one and see what this one comes out to. If, if I measured it right, it should come out um, to, well, I know. But let's see. Let's see how I measured, and let's see. Uh, let's see what you guys come up with. So, one last look at the shop. Nine thirty at night. So, get to work. <laughs>